can't let it go. Go on. This is an elevator. Yes. You see here that it's kind of bending, but I don't worry about that. All I work, all I just kind of uh. watch it, and if it's kind of loose, I'll fix it. There. I kind of fixed that. Ethan, don't hold that. It's going to do it on the smell. It kind of looks like a fishing pole to me. Yeah, it does. It bends like a fishing pole, huh? Now, here's something I want to explain to you. When it gets to the top, I'll show you something that I programmed. When I press the touch sensor, it will re reverse the motor's direction and it will go down. So how did you program this? Well, first I put a motor block and when, so uh, it would just start going at the beginning, it would go up, and then when I programmed when the, t it, when it, when the touch sensor was pushed, it would go up, I mean down. But then when I, then when I press it again, then we'll reverse direction all again. Cool. See? Show me your program. Show me the computer program so I can show the people on YouTube. Okay. Um, I can do that. What the heck? I totally did that. Oh, there we go. So, ha, so this is your bro program for the yeah. brain. First I put a, a forward unlimited. That makes it go up. Press the touch what sensor. Then it goes down. Why do press press this again. And until I press the enter button, this loop button, th this loop will... The loop will stop. Very cool. And that's that that there you have it, YouTube world. That is the Lego Mindstorm Crane by Ryan Cochran. I call it the elevator. The okay, the Lego Mindstorm Elevator. And Bye. Goodbye.